Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing good. How are we all? I feel like I've done quite a few vlogs, but not many sit down videos for the last little while. I could be wrong, but that's how it feels. So I am back with a sit down video. And today I've been quite excited to do this one. Sometimes you do videos that you think, you know, yeah, really want to do this. And this is one of them. It is, as you can see from the title, items that TikTok has made me buy. There you go. Um, now, obviously, TikTok hasn't made me buy them, like, you know, as in really made me buy them, but has heavily influenced me to buy them. Um, so I ventured into the world of TikTok now about a month or so ago, I'm going to say. You can follow me. My TikTok handle is around here somewhere um, and I've been really enjoying it um, and on my For You page which if you're on TikTok um, you will know exactly what I mean I am inundated with so many different products thousands basically um, and there's some of them that I have been influenced to buy and they are the products I am going to show you today. Um, now, some of them, I've got quite a few to get through here, so I'm not going to ramble on too much. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 products I have been influenced to buy. Now, the majority of them I have tried. There's a couple that I haven't yet. Those of you that are not on TikTok, that maybe haven't seen these products, um, I will tell you where I got each of them from and how much they all were. Now, all of them are very affordable or very inexpensive, which is great. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, number one in the items that TikTok has made me buy. And we are gonna start with something very unusual, but wow, I'm very pleased that I found this. I didn't expect to find it where I found it. Okay, softener, fabric conditioner. Okay, first of all, the brand Acefi, Acefi, Acefi. Okay, as far as I could make out from TikTok, it's a Spanish cleaning brand. It has been all over my For You page, um, and I actually never really intended to buy a product from it um, until I went into B&M. And B&M had a great big stand of a CV, a CV, washing products, and also floor cleaner. Um, now, they have about, I'm going to say, about four to five different varieties of the fabric conditioner. Um, smelt them all. And this one in particular, um, Blue Sky Intense Freshness. Now, when I first smelt this, oh, let's have another sniff. Yeah, now when I first smelt this, and I feel that for those of you that when you've been to Spain, Okay, now I'm talking about Ibiza. When I've smelt people's washing, drying, people that live there, in Ibiza, that whether that be, um, you know, hanging off a washing line on a flat that you pass or whatever, this smell took me back. Um, this is the smell. This is the one that they all use, I feel, because the smell, the smell takes me back to being in Ibiza and smelling people's washing and that's good enough for me so I am very very pleased I found this in B&M a completely unplanned purchase like I say seen it all over TikTok they do do cleaning products as well they have the floor cleaner and I have seen on TikTok different sprays kitchen sprays or whatever and if B&M do bring them in I will try them as well because I'm very impressed with this so again it was from B&M and I feel it was £2.99 they've got lots of other scents to choose from so I can thoroughly recommend this one if you like the smell, the very fresh smell of Spanish washing. There you go, that's the first one. Next, two shower gels. Okay, now this one first, we'll go for this one first. This was all over my For You page. It is the Rouge Love Story Flower. Okay, so if you take the Rouge, that can sort of tell you what, the smell is like what it smells like now when I tell you I'm not exaggerating that this smells exactly like the famous perfume the two oh my god 
it's unbelievable. The 200 pound, 200 and odd pound perfume. You all know the one I'm talking about. Um, this smells exactly like it. I feel if that perfume brand, or maybe they already have, I don't know, was to bring out a shower gel um, like that perfume, it would smell exactly like this. Now, I've got about, I've used about a third of a bottle, I would say. Now this, when you're using this in the shower, it overtakes the whole, it is such an intense smell. Wow. And then obviously if you layer it up with the perfume, I haven't got the perfume because I'm not going to spend 200 nod on the perfume, but I do have the Aldi dupe of it, um, which was again another thing that I'd seen on TikTok, but I'd bought that previously anyway, so I haven't included that in the video. But if you layer up, so use this first, then use either if you've got the real one or the dupe. Um, this is absolutely amazing and I will repurchase and repurchase. This is only 199 $1.99 and I got mine from Boots. It smells exactly like it and I'm not kidding. Sniff it. If you're in store, honestly, you can't go wrong. $1.99, such a nice smell. The next one that's been all over my For You page, um, this is actually my second bottle of this. Um, my first one was used all up. This is um, the Sunny Brazilian Love Ocean. You may have seen this. I got mine from Tesco. Again, I think this was $2.99. I feel it was $2.99. Um, now, this obviously is a dupe of, you know what I'm going to say, the Sol de Janeiro. And it really, really does smell like it. Um, now, also, TikTok has shown me um, Tesco have also got the body spray of this in, but I couldn't find that. Um, so when I do find that, I will try that out um, because Sol de Janeiro products are not the cheapest. So anything we can find that smells a little bit like them is a win-win. And this really, really does. Um, it's gorgeous. Like I say, it's my second bottle. I've been through one bottle already. And for I think it's $1.99 or $2.99. And I think I'm correct in saying these are the same brand. They're the same brand. Is it Treacle Moon? Yes, it's Treacle Moon. Treacle Moon. You cannot go wrong with this brand. Honestly, these two I can't recommend enough. So they're the shower gels. So we have shower gels, fabric conditioner. Next, what shall we do? Oh, let's go. Right, okay. We have some makeup items. Again, all over my For You page. We have the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Glotion. There you go. It looks like that. Now, I have got this on today, but today I'm going to say I have the medium. I have it in the shade medium. Um, now, there's different ways of applying this. Um, today, I have it over my foundation, um, but I think when I wear it next, I will put it under my foundation for maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure if it's showing up fully on camera, um, but in like real life, it's very glowy. It's very glowy, which is great um, if you're going somewhere, you know, you're on holiday, whatever. But for every day, I would say I'm going to wear this under my foundation. But I very much really like it. It is like it suggests. It is like a very um, thin consistency lotion. You can put it on, um, apply it to your face before your foundation, which will give a more subtle glow or on top of your foundation which I have today which gives a more I just I don't think it's showing up quite how it is in real life but I, I've got a glow put it that way I've got a glow and I'm impressed um, but like I say for me every day wear it would be under my foundation um, this has been all over my for you page everybody has just been raving on and on about this and actually I am very glad I purchased this now I feel I could be wrong on this but there's three different shades I think there's the light the medium which I have um, and the dark and I just thought I'll go for the medium um, as you can see I'll try and show you a bit yeah a little bit I don't know if you can see the consistency there it's literally um, I guess like the sort of same consistency as a foundation but a lot lot thinner 
um, more easily appliable, I would say, um, and it does give a lovely glow. I think it's going to take a few practices. Um, I don't know if maybe I put too much on today. Um, I think probably when I put makeup on tomorrow and it goes under my foundation, I will probably put not quite as much on, but I really like how it looks. I like the easiness of application and I'm very impressed. Now, I got mine, it was 9 99 and I got mine from Superdrug. So if you want a nice glow, bit of a glow, um, whether you want to go more of an intense glow or a subtle glow, um, you can choose either under foundation or over, then can recommend this. Really good. Glad I picked that up. Next, two others. Now, these were actually one of my first um, TikTok influenced products that I bought and I'm very glad I did and I will 100% be repurchasing these. You might have seen them. If you're on TikTok, you might have not. They are these. Um, now, I did show these in a TikTok video um, that I'd done a couple of weeks ago. I am very, very impressed with these. Now, there is also one other one. There is a coconut flavour, um, which I haven't picked up, but I will get that. Um, so, the two that I have, and the one I have on today is the Cherry Glossy Lip Balm. Cherry Glossy Lip Balm moisturises dry lips to create long-lasting hydration, and it really does. Now, this one has a slight tint to it, this one, the cherry one, as you can see, which I really like when I'm wearing makeup. The hydration is very long. My lips feel soft for hours and hours, I'm not kidding. Really, really good. Um, now, these are meant to be a bit of a dupe of, um, is it Glossier? Glossier, or there's another brand as well, I can't, quite remember. Um, I also have the mint one which has no tint to it so I like to put this one on when I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, that's equally as hydrating, I kid you not. Now these are only £3 each. £3 each from Boots. Now I had a job to get these um, and the lady on the counter she said to me every time they come in they just go um, and I can see why. I mean I have no idea how much the Glossier or the other ones are I have no idea, um, but I guess a lot more expensive than £3 each, um, and they are really good. Um, everything I'm showing you that I have used, like I said, there will be a couple of products here that I haven't used yet, but everything I'm showing you that I have used, I will repurchase, and I can see why they've gone a bit viral, um, and these are really, really good. Like I say, I will pick up the coconut one. Um, because they are just so good, they're so hydrating. I was using the Burt's Bees lip balms um, and these are a lot more hydrating, I have to say. So absolutely love them. The packaging's cute, I think. Um, really, really like them. They're a handy size put in your bag for when you're going out. Um, so yeah, another heavily influenced product, which I am very glad I was influenced. I can be influenced as much as the next person. I kid you not. Um, okay, next. Should we go for a book? A book. Now, if you like your books, um, for recommendations, etc., TikTok on my For You page is just full of them. And this one has been coming up again and again and again and again. Um, I haven't started it yet, so I will say, let me know in the comments um, how you found this book, if you have read it, whether you enjoyed it or whatever. Um, so the book is this one, The Family Upstairs. Okay, a twisty engrossing story, gripping and thrilling. Okay, one house, two families, three bodies. And it's by Lisa Jewell. Okay, one house, two families, three bodies. In a large house in London's fashionable Chelsea, a baby is awake in her cot. Well fed and cared for, she's waiting for someone to pick her up. In the kitchen lie three corpses. Close to them is a hastily scrawled note. They've been dead for several days. Who's been looking after the baby? And where did they go? Sounds pretty good to me. Um, someone says on here, stupendous, gripping, riveting and moving, brilliantly twisty. So I am very, very much looking forward to starting this. Um, the reviews on TikTok, everyone's saying amazing, amazing, amazing. So I cannot wait to start this. Um, I paid, I got this from Tesco and I believe it was £5 something. Um, the RRP is 9 99 on the back. Um, but yeah, I got mine from Tesco. And I'm very much looking forward to starting this. Um, if anything, is the, if the hype has anything to do with it, it's going to be fantastic. So that is the book. Okay, next we have this. 
Now, again, I've seen this all over my For You page. I keep saying that, but um, it, it is true. Um, and this is one, one um, lady showed this. And even though it's not, I think it's not a completely, how can we put it? It's not a completely, completely viral product but she said once you've tried it you will absolutely love it and you'll want to buy it again and again and again and it's so so good okay it is the Aveeno skin relief body oil spray instantly nourishes very dry sensitive skin okay it looks like that now number one it smells absolutely gorgeous it's um with oat oil and jojoba oil it smells gorgeous. Um, so just spray it, spray it over you sparingly. I wouldn't say too much because, for example, um, when I've got out the shower, normally I'd use a body lotion. I used this this morning, um, say two pumps on my arm. Um, it absorbs absolutely lovely. And she did mention when she was talking about this that if, like, um, say you're wearing, um, it's a hot day and you're wearing a nice strappy summer's dress, um, so obviously you would have applied this, say, let, for example, around here, and it gives you a nice glow, if we say, for example, around the shoulders and that, which always looks nice, doesn't it? Um, and that's what drew me to it. Um, and I think if you've got, you know, some type of tan, whether that be fake or um, real, this is going to go really nicely with that. It's just going to give you a nice glow and it is very, very hydrating. Um, really, really nice. Quickly proven to intensely moisturise, smooth, even skin in just one week. This formula with a silky finish helps relieve and repair very dry skin from the first application by providing a long lasting moisturisation. Um, formula with oat oil and jojoba oil, which are ingredients rich in rich in lipids and fatty acids, help restore the skin barrier, improves uneven skin texture too. Um, instructions used twice daily, best after washing, spray close to towel dried skin and massage in. Like I say, it is really, really lovely. I really like this. I used this this morning. Um, I got this from Tesco and I think this was 9 99 um, but I feel it's going to last a long time. Um, I shall still use like body lotions um, in between also but this is lovely like I say on a hot summer's day and I think this would be really nice on holiday as well if you're abroad. Have that shower after you've been in the sun all day and you know you're getting ready you have your shower before you go out at night and I think um, once you've had your shower to put this on it it would feel lovely and it would give you tan a glow as well I think so really like that. Okay we are on to the final three I like these. We are on to the final three skincare products. I'll say it again, all over my For You page. Um, now, these are really good, very, very cheap. It is the Tesco skincare range, which I was not aware of, whoops, which I was not aware of at all until I saw it all over my For You page. And the reviews have been so, so good. So we have, now, as far as I can make out, they do, I think it's called the Skin Saints range. Now, I've got the vitamin C, I've got the vitamin C orange packaging range, but they also do, I feel they've got a pink range, a light pink range, and then they've also got, is it a purple range? I think, um, in my local Tesco, there's not, there wasn't hardly any of the pink range left. Um, and I managed to get, there was two or three left of this. Um, now this is absolutely fab. It's the Skin Saint, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on again. Okay, it's the Skin Saints Vitamin C Illuminating Serum. Rates and smooths skin. Um, apply a few drops to clean damp skin. Um, helps brighten dull skin. This is absolutely lovely um i've been using this for a few nights after i've cleansed at night um and i think i'm going to start and use it after i've applied my toner in the morning um all the reviews on this say how crazy crazy good it is they can really notice a difference in their skin and um, how glowy the skin looks now i feel this was four pounds. Four pounds for an illuminating serum, which is a fab, fab price. In the same range, I picked up the Skin Saints Vitamin C Glow Skin Tonic, Radiance Boosting for Skin. Um, now, I'm going to put myself out there and I think I'm going to use this 
instead of my Lizelle, it's a lot more um, affordable. I think this was four pounds too. Cleanse face, saturate a cotton pad with a skin tonic and sweep across face and neck. Um, it says here, vitamin C, bright glowing skin saint, skin tonic, removes removes makeup residue and impurities to leave skin feeling clean, soft and refreshed. So I've got that one. And then last of all in the range, I've got the, and this has got an SPF of 30, which is fab. Replenishing Day Moisturiser, Glow Reviver for Skin. Um, a Skin Saints Nourishing Day Moisturiser with SPF 30 will help relieve dry skin, protecting from the harmful rays of the sun. Um, massage into skin daily or as desired. So in that range, I picked up the toner, the moisturiser and the illuminating serum um so i'm going to give these a really good go like i say i've used that one i've used that one very very impressed and i'm yet to use these two the toner and the moisturizer so let me know in the comments below if you have used these if you've used any of the um skin saints range let me know or any of the other colors um let me know how you've got on with it how you found it um the same with all the products because i find it really interesting um if you've used any of these products, how did you find them? Um, also, let me know as well in the comments um, if there's like any products that you've seen on your For You page that um, you've gone out and bought and that turned out to be incredible too that I might not have found. That is the end of my video of things that TikTok has made me buy. And I thought as well also, I think I'm going to do one of these every so often because obviously you know there's going to be new products coming all the time and i'm not saying like a regular like once a month but when i feel that i've got you know enough new products to show which could be like once every couple of months or whatever i thought it would be quite a good series to do um so look out in the future for things that tiktok made me buy um part two somewhere in the future um, and i hope you've enjoyed um Give the products a try. Like I say, the ones that I have tried, I can thoroughly recommend. Um, and I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye.